Today's video is how to be less wasteful and in turn more environmentally friendly. I'm going to be sharing with you 50 things that you can do to reduce your impact on the planet and just generally lead a more sustainable lifestyle. Hi, welcome back to Red Pearl Vegan. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Meg, if you're new here, and I'm going to be sharing today 50 swaps or changes that you can make to your life to just generally reduce your waste. These are great for beginners or those of you who are already on your eco journey like myself and you're just looking for further tips. This isn't a checklist though, so please rest assured that you don't have to do all of them. Just pick and choose whichever ones you're comfortable with or whichever ones are available to you. So let's get right into them. Okay. Okay, so number one is more of a motto rather than something that you actually have to go out and do and that is to reduce reuse and recycle this is a great rule of thumb and one that I particularly love to live by especially for beginners to just reduce in the first instance in the second instance if you have had to acquire or purchase something then to reuse and then in the last instance to recycle wherever possible Number two is to always check to see if you own something already before purchasing anything new. This is a great way to just minimise your consumption in general and in turn reduce waste. Three is to try to buy used or second hand wherever possible. Things such as eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Vinted, charity shops if you're in the UK like myself or thrift stores in the US. Four is to refuse junk or single use items. So this can be anything from plastic straws and cutlery if you go for a takeaway or you go to a cafe and also the little plastic goodies that sometimes you get like free pens and free sunglasses and things like that. If you don't need them, they generally just end up in a drawer at home and they create more waste. So try to refuse plastic or single use items wherever you can. Five is to use a reusable shopping bag or grocery bag. You don't need to go out and buy a fancy new canvas or tote bag though. If you already have some bags at home, just use those up first. If you're like myself and you've accumulated a load of bags for life over the years from different supermarkets, just use those up first, but try to avoid all single use plastic bags. And then similarly, number six is to repurpose any old produce or paper bags to pop your fruit and veg in at the supermarket. This is a great way, again, to prevent those little awful single-use plastic fruit and veg bags. You don't, again, need to go out and buy a fancy new cotton one, but if you don't have anything, by all means, a reusable, washable one is a really great way to go. Number seven is to go paperless. So this can be junk, mail, and particularly bills, just go on their website and tick that little box asking to go paperless in your preferences or even contact them by phone, your provider or your, your bank even, just however it is you may need to contact them to do that, but try to go paperless wherever you can. Eight is something that I just started doing recently and that is to use the Ecosia search engine. I will link them in the description box for you to go and check them out and all the amazing things that they do. But basically they're a search engine who will plant a tree for every, I think it's 45 searches that you do. So this is a brilliant way to better your impact on the planet whilst just doing your everyday research. Nine is a top favorite of mine and that is to use DIY natural cleaning products. This is a great way to avoid toxins, not only for yourself, but also for the environment and to reduce plastic waste as well. 10 similarly to cleaning products is to use baking soda, white vinegar or soap nuts to do your laundry. I've made videos on this in the past as well, which I'll also link up above and in the description box. This is a really cheap, frugal, natural and environmentally friendly way to wash your clothes. 11 is to repurpose any containers or jars that you may bring into the home to store your food in or for any other storage for that matter. You don't need to go out and buy fancy new containers or boxes for things, just reuse what you already have. Number 12 is to buy loose or package free wherever possible and then with those containers and jars that I just mentioned in number 11, if you have this available to you locally, a zero waste or a refill store is a really great way to go and top up on your cupboard essentials with your repurposed containers. 13 is to use a reusable water bottle instead of single use plastic ones. By all means, you don't need to go out and buy anything new or fancy. Use something that you may already have in your home, say for an example, an old glass lemonade bottle or anything that could be useful. Just be cautious of reusing the single use ones. They aren't meant to be refilled and they can leach chemicals into the water. And then number 14, similarly to water, is to get yourself a reusable coffee or tea mug if hot drinks on the go is something that you like to do. This prevents a humongous amount of waste. Personally, I don't drink tea or coffee on the go myself, but this is a really good eco-friendly tip. 
15 is to use a bamboo toothbrush instead of a plastic one, but please use up whatever you already have first before you go out and purchase anything new. Or if you're like myself and you already had an electrical one that still works absolutely fine, just go ahead and get yourself some recyclable toothbrush heads instead of the plastic disposable ones. And then 16 is to use tooth tabs, natural toothpaste, or even a tooth soap. These are all things that I have tried myself. They often come in glass or cardboard, or even better, tooth tabs generally come packaged free. This is a really great way to avoid that plastic, awful tube of conventional toothpaste that often does contain harmful ingredients as well. 17 is to use a natural deodorant that comes in a glass jar or cardboard or even better to just make your own. The conventional deodorant sprays that come in an aerosol can are really bad for the environment and they're also not good for our skin or for our bodies either. 18 is to use a facial oil that comes in glass instead of a conventional moisturiser. Often your typical white facial creams and moisturisers they come in a plastic tub and they also contain ingredients that are quite harmful and not necessary for our skin so try to find an oil that works best for your skin type I'm sure you will find one that you love I personally use argan oil and it's one of the best swaps that I've ever made number 19 is to use bar soap instead of plastic bottles or shower gel 20 is to use shampoo and conditioner bars instead of the plastic bottle alternative or even better 21 is to try no poo conditioner only or water only and all the wonderful natural alternatives that are out there that are better for our hair and our bodies and also for the planet number 22 is to use washable sanitary wear so i personally like to use reusable pants i also have some washable pads and a menstrual cup these are all really great ways to avoid those awful single-use tampons and disposable panty liners that are dreadful for the environment and they're also not good for our bodies either. 23 is one I've mentioned a lot in previous videos and that is to save up napkins or condiments that you may get in takeaways or when you go to cafes or restaurants. Often they'll just automatically give them to you if you don't refuse them and then they just end up usually going into their bin. So bring those home with you. They're a great alternative to buying kitchen roll or paper towels and it just generally prevents waste. 25 is to use an old bathroom towel or any washable reusable rags that you may have for cleaning instead of disposable surface wipes. And then on the subject of energy consumption, 26 is to always turn the lights off when you leave a room or they aren't in use. 27 is to unplug any devices that aren't being used or that have finished charging. 28 is to never leave a tap running unnecessarily or waste water that you don't need. So for example, when you are brushing your teeth or in between washing your hair. And then similarly on the subject of water waste is to save any water up that you've used to cook things in, to reboil other things or to make stock. And another one as well is to save your unsalted cooled pasta or rice water to water your plants with. This is really nutritious for them and it's just generally a really great way, again, to avoid water waste. 31 is to take reusable cutlery with you on the go. So this can be for picnics, for lunches, for work, wherever it is that you are out of the home. Again, you don't need to go out and buy fancy new bamboo or stainless steel cutlery. You can always just use what you already have at home from your kitchen drawer. 32 is to cook from scratch as much as you can and then 33 is to take batch cooked meals with you for your packed lunches instead of buying food to go. 34 is one that I did a video on recently about my eco home tour and that is to use raw natural materials that you may find on a walk or when you go to a beach that have sentimental value to decorate your home with. This prevents going to the shop and buying new man-made ornaments. 35 is to repurpose any old plastic packaging or produce bags as an alternative to bin liners. Of course this is only if your local council allow for this but this is a really great way to prevent buying a new roll of plastic bin liners. Number 36 is to just protect your phone. I always have my phone in a case with a glass screen protector on it. Tech waste is a huge problem so just by protecting our electronic devices this is a really great way to help them last for longer. Number 37 is again another kind of motto rather than something that you need to do but that is to just always purchase mindfully. Always ask yourself do I need this item as you're about to click that buy it now button or you're about to hand over your card or preferably before you've got to the till. Just always ask yourself is there something else at home that I have that's similar or that I could use instead or even better just ask yourself if you could cut that item out altogether. 38 is another top favourite of mine that I've mentioned lots in the past and that is to repurpose mushroom punnet wrapping as an alternative to cling film. So if I don't buy my mushrooms loose I will always buy them from the reduced aisle however they do come in, in plastic 
and they often come with this wrapper that if you flip it over you can gently unpeel it and end up with one great big square sheet. This is an excellent alternative to food wrap and it prevents you buying a new roll of cling film. Number 39, much like how I mentioned about water and electricity consumption, is to be more energy conscious with regards to heating. So instead of just automatically going to turn your heating up by a couple of degrees, just pop a jumper on instead or some warm fluffy socks that you like. And equally number 40, if you're lucky enough to live somewhere that's hot, which unfortunately I'm not, with regards to air conditioning, just maybe remove a layer if that's possible and just keep hydrated rather than turning your AC up. 41 is to repurpose any junk mail or envelopes or old receipts that you may have as an alternative to to-do lists or shopping lists. This is a great way to avoid using a brand new notebook or a brand new piece of paper. And then 42 is to meal plan and take that repurposed shopping list with you that you've just made on an old envelope and always go to a shop with a list. Don't ever go shopping without one. It just encourages unnecessary purchases and in turn generally generates more food waste and costs you more money. 43 is to opt for natural fabrics over synthetic ones such as polyester. But don't worry, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Just do this gradually. I recently made a video on my sustainable clothing journey and it's always really great to when you're going to buy something new or hopefully second hand or you're replacing something to try to opt for organic cotton, hemp, linen or bamboo. And still on the subject of clothing, 44 is to only wash your clothes when they actually smell or they're actually dirty. It really isn't necessary to wash your clothes after every single use or after just one day of using them unless they actually smell of course or they have dirt on them it's incredibly energy intensive and it also helps to preserve the condition of them for longer 45 is to prioritize experiences free time outdoors and nature over activities that cost money or involve buying something 46 is to try to support wherever possible small local independent businesses over big mass corporate companies but don't give yourself a hard time if this isn't available to you as it can often be difficult 47, if you aren't already vegan, is to try to opt for plant-based options when eating out or at home as much as possible. Just by cutting down your meat, dairy, egg and fish consumption a couple of times a week can make a huge difference and it will also save you money as well. Number 48, much like how I previously mentioned about clothing, is to not shower every day unless you actually smell or you're actually dirty. Now I know that this can cause some controversy as some people may find it a bit gross, but until the modern world came along, we didn't actually need to shower every day. And this doesn't mean omitting strip washing or caring for your intimate areas or by any means walking around stinking. But often overwashing can do more harm than good. Continuously using soap on our skin can cause over drying and it also removes the natural protective barrier that we have. So just by reducing your showers ever so slightly a couple of times a week can really help not only on your water consumption, but also lower your bills as well. Number 49 is to eat whole foods as much as you can instead of processed foods or ready meals. And then finally at number 50 is to buy reduced food wherever possible. This is a top favorite of mine and this is how I wanted to round off today's video. Head over to that reduce aisle in your supermarket if that's something that's available to you or try to buy things that are only on offer or half price. This is a really great way to save money and of course to reduce waste at the same time. So there you have it. There were my 50 favorite eco zero waste tips. These are all things that I've learned along the way on my journey that I wanted to share with you. I hope that you found these helpful. And like I said at the start of the video, this isn't a checklist. It's just a guide to hopefully inspire you and, and help you. So feel free to do whichever ones you're comfortable with. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And feel free to share this video with anybody that you think that it might benefit or help Help on their journey or if they're a beginner. In the meantime, take care and stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!